What up, what up, what up? Welcome to episode six of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Which I hit the like button for me. Thank you in advance. I've been sitting back these few days just watching, you know what I'm saying, the YouTube streets, checking things out. And from what I'm seeing, it's like, all right. Same thing's just getting a little bit too ridiculous now. Let's start with the Just 33 and Tiffany, the disrespect that Just 33 and Tiffany is doing. See what I mean by, like, a lot of people in this community is just like, come on, man, we got to do something about some of these people, man. Some of these people are just flat out ridiculous, man. Like, just a Tiffany beef is fake. It's agreed upon beef. Y'all should already know that, right? But let me just help y'all out with this. Just will do anything for attention. For real. I know this personally. The dude calls me. Like, before he did that little uh, interview with uh, Huggy on Huggy channel, weak ass channel, he uh, he called me like, like, DC, what's up? I'm like, what up? What up, Just? What's good? You know what I'm saying? He like, uh, man, Joe, so things are going on, and I, I just want you to interview me about this Tiffany thing. I want you to interview me. You guys, anything you want, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm going to say it's just 33 Productions. You interview me, this and that. Ooh, I want to come on, man. The church channel. I'm like, all right, Just, you know what I'm saying? We can do the interview, but I ain't in a rush for it, right? So I want to look up some things. Let me see. Like, just look up a few things before I even interview them. So as I'm looking up things to interview them, I see him run right over there, you know what I'm saying, huggy thing. So I'm like, yeah, not surprised, you know what I'm saying? Jesse, a clout chaser, you know what I'm saying? Jesse, he's trying to do anything to, you know what I'm saying, him some attention so when he do some videos that he gets some nice revenue for him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to feed his family off his YouTube channel, which is all good. It's understandable. I'm trying to feed my family off my YouTube channel as well, so I ain't going to knock the man for that. But at the same time, it's just the same ways that you do these things. So the whole Tiff thing, then I'm saying, I go to, I used to watch the Tiff like she did this a couple of days ago where she made a video talking about Kanika Jenkins is alive and shit like this. I'm like, man, come on, man. The disrespect needs to stop, man. Like, for real. Like, and she just obviously just doing things to cloud chase too. Like, like I said, like, that's the thing with Tiffany. Like, as soon as you get her some cool points, she gonna do some fuck shit to just take the cool points away, man. It's like, it's ridiculous. So, that right and um well some things been down down like the little hype behind rob been down down you know what i'm saying because he, he all snitched so his shit went back down because we already knew he was gonna come out there and do so that's enough of rob goofy ass now we got oh With the straight drop and bugs thing, that's over with. The rob and bugs thing, that's over with, man. Because now, basically, everybody is able to see that bugs is nothing but a clout chasing goofy. Like, I've been telling people this. And I was really cute about this for a while, right? But it's just, it's, it's, it's funny, right? Because it's, it's funny to, like, let's take a trip down memory lane real quick. I remember going on that, right? This is a month back. This is the summer. Let's go to the summer. I call in, you know what I'm saying, Straight Drive channel or Tobias channel. I call in to Tobias. I call in to YouTube court. Holler at Tobias. I, you know what I'm saying, I go to, uh, you know what I'm saying, Straight Drive shit. Holler at Stutter real quick. like. And I say something, I'll be bringing, you know what I'm saying, up on charges. And I'll be hearing some dude come up here and be like, man, why you got a problem with straight drop, man? Why you why you why you come at straight drop so hard, man? You should be cool with straight drop. Just never move out. Straight drop a good dude. Just straight drop doing this and all that. And I stop and I be like, all right, Joe. Um, let me ask you a question, bro. Let me ask you a question, bro. Like what? What? I'm serious with this question. Let me ask you a question. He was like, what? Who are you, nigga? Who is you? Like I don't know. Who, like who is you? You like? He was like, man, you know who I am. Just never. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm serious. Who are you? Just bugs. So now, so basically, you hear me? Like, that's the trip down memory lane. When I was out there bringing straight drop on charges, Bugs had called up there, run his ass up there, 
and be like, DC, you wrong. Straight Drop is the coolest guy. Straight Drop is this. Straight Drop is, I don't say everything but Jesus. And now he is up the clowning his man every single day. But then towards the middle of it, he'll say, I'm done talking about it. Why are you bringing it up again then? And, and like now, like he basically looks super weak now because like all this evidence they breaking out about him, his fakeness and it's just phoniness. And he is still, and I just like, all right, let me see his response to this. And he like, they lying. So basically that's that's his plan. Like he ain't finna stop who, as long as the people just come and whatever, whatever, that's what he about, man. Listen, for this man to say, all those things, chilling this man, and then to be like one of his main protagonists. It's like, what? So after they, they play videos of him calling, begging for money, giving them sob stories, after they show inboxes and inboxes of his weak ass crew, like bam, and I'm throwing them under the bus, he is still go laugh and lie, cry, and deny. That's something I used to say to my ex girlfriend. Like, she'd be like, why you just ask me, like, when I do my little thing? It's like, and I'm like, why you do your things? Like, because I thought you were doing you, so I went and did me. Oh, why you ain't just say, well, I'm like, ask you for what? So you can lie, cry, and then deny? That's all Bugs is doing, man. He's nothing but a housewife, like I've been telling y'all, man. So, run down other stuff that's been going down the YouTube streets. Topic number one, Jess and Tiffany, they beef is fake. Bugs is going to lie, cry, and deny no matter how much evidence be showed that he's full of shit. He's still going to just lie. He's going to cry, and he's going to deny. And shouts out to Real News for showing that video of him whooping his son ass. <laughs> Bugs whooped his son ass just so he can go live. Bruh, it ain't that serious, man. I know you're trying to make that black house great again, but, bro, it ain't that serious, man. Go ahead and give your kid that attention. You know what I'm saying? Calm him down. Give him some ice cream or something. You know, some juice so you can go ahead, sit down, be cool, relax, put him on a video game or something. And they're gonna go ahead and go live, bro. It ain't that serious for you to go live, lie, cry, and deny, especially when you ain't finna do nothing but just speak on another motherfucking man. Like, come on, stop it. Shouts out to Real News for showing it though. And, um, yeah, so Tiff full of shit, just full of shit, but y'all know that. Books. He going to lie, cry, and deny no matter how much evidence is getting shown with him, right? But now we got the newest hot topic, right? Real basically going at the, my Muslim brother, Ricky, and saying, like, come on, Ricky, you supposed to be telling us this and that. Like, man, you, we expect you to get out and tell us this and that. And listen, let me say this. I don't know what the fuck made y'all think. No, say, well, I can't say that. Ricky was never going to come out and say anything bad about Chosen. They friends. Remember, if Ricky didn't come out and say anything bad about Chosen after Chosen recorded that phone call that they had, you know what I'm saying, about that giving water to Africa, and Chosen basically said like, nah, I ain't finna help you get to a thousand subscribers, I ain't finna help you get monetized, and nothing. And he ain't speaking against him then, he ain't finna speak against his friend now after he out and he trying to do his little Teddy Pendergrass moments or whatever the fuck Ricky calling this stuff doing. And I'm like, I gotta know what I'm saying. And I gotta call a spade a spade. Like, don't blame Ricky, blame Reckless. That's Reckless fucking fault. That's Barack Obama fault. Barack Obama, all kind of Reckless fault. Because for a simple fact of why Ricky was locked up, he was chilling the fuck out of Ricky, saying this, saying that, saying that, that, that. And then Ricky get out, Ricky ain't speaking on none of that shit. And records just disappear and say nothing about it. Y'all need to start questioning that motherfucker up on this shit. Like, Joe, why you just skip past the shit? And I'm the only person that ever bring it up. Like, bro, you chilly the fuck out this man. Just skip past the shit. Dude, cool with me. He cool with me, but it's like, gotta call a spade a spade. You do some fuck shit. I don't give a fuck how cool he is. I'm gonna say you're doing some fuck shit. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? So, like, people need to not, like, leave Ricky alone and go ahead and come at records. Like, why you had us pay attention to this fuck ass nigga? You know what I'm saying? And this is what we getting out of you. Like, I knew police shit, whatever. Whatever, man. Quit giving us the street asses and just come to us with it. 
that's what it is, man. Like, well, basically, that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't, don't blame Ricky. Like, Ricky was never going to come out and speak against his friend. He just wasn't. He just wasn't. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me speak on this, right? Now, I, some of y'all been wondering, like, man, what took you so long to drop it? Like, I've been having to fight and defend my channel. Because unlike a lot of y'all, I don't probably, all bullshit aside, like, all bullshit aside, I am probably more than likely the most harassed YouTuber in this community. I am more than likely... Let me fix my Band-Aid. I am more likely the most harassed YouTuber in this community. More so than put their name here is more likely me. I get rare phone calls from people down there every single day. Half the times it just be somebody on that breathing. And other times it be some motherfuckers on that face sending me a threat. And I'll be like, all right, Joe, let's see what it's about. Right? But I've been getting harassed, right? So, like, my little video that I put up about racism in the community, you know, said so I had to delete it, right, because of a person harassing me, which is so funny, right? A person that I'm exposed in a video for a tech, for coming up there, basically we coming up there saying, me and Reckless saying we finna go on this channel and just have a good time, just crack some jokes, whatever, have a good time. And this person basically called up there just to jump on my dick. And say some things to me, start a fight with me, and I basically show it, and they want to be like, "Not take it out here." Da, 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 da. I'm not white. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. That's not what I'm like. One, what Rev Rex this call us, Mama Meals or some goofy ass shit. One lady, cause she left this comment talking about, oh, but cause I pronounce my words and now I talk whatever. You think I'm white? No. I know some people that are darker, way darker than me, speak way more proper, way more to you. Well, if I close my eyes, I'd be thinking that's a white person, but no, no, they, they blacker than me. So it's not anything close to that, shorty, like calm down with that. It's this, the things you say, the things you do, and the places that you be, you be in bombshell chat. You know what I'm saying? They'll disrespect the bombshell, this and that, but bombshell known to have some racist people in the chat. Let's just keep on hunting. When we look at our chat, it's 98% white. You know, so you'll see like two black people in there at the most. 98% white. No disrespect to that, right? So let's not concentrate on bomb shit. No, so this is uh, Mama Mills person, right? But so when she made a comment on my video, I said, when she like, like oh, you think I'm white because of this? I'm like, nah, you don't show yourself. One, you never show yourself. The way you speak on black people when you do speak on black people. And it's like, all right, check this out. If I'm wrong, then let me be wrong. I'm willing to go out on a limb and assume that she was a racist white woman. And I just leave it up here like, shit, you know what I'm saying? If you prove me wrong, prove me different. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you want to put it down, show yourself. Put yourself on the camera. And if you black, you know what I'm saying? You light skin, whatever, whatever. A mixy, whatever. I take it back and apologize, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But tell them I wanted to leave this video up and assume. And you know what happened when you assume, right? You leave yourself a chance to be a fool, to look like a fool. So I'm willing to go out on a limb and look like a fool. I'm willing to take that chance. Because I know that you was a white woman. So if you black... Why would you go and try to give me a privacy strike of, you know what I'm saying, uh, invasion of privacy strike if you actually black? I just leave that video up of me looking stupid, accusing you of being something that you're not. Oh, man, this nigga stupid. Watch this. DC thinking you know everything. Oh, I'm going to leave that shit up there. Ooh, I'm going to show myself. Ooh, ooh. See, I'm black. Why that nigga think I don't this and that? Nah. You wanted that shit to be gone. And you know what, though? And the reason why I ain't there mad, I'm going to say, like, you know what, I'll go ahead and delete it. Because at the same time, the original video was still up there. And I said this. For the people that want to think Angela Mills is um, black, peep this. Go back to that video, right, that I showed y'all. No, it's in reckless, right? The whole Rob Rob video. I said this. 
she not black? She like, I'm not black. Ooh, she admit on that video to not being black, but then say, nigger. I'm like, she ain't black. She can't be saying the word nigger. I ain't got to be black. I ain't got to be black. Nigger is a mind state. What? That right there. And I got that video too. Just in case reckless. Because reckless do a lot of south shit in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Cool, whatever, whatever. But I don't know. I'm not the get along with everybody type of guy. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Shit. We could, we could be peaceful without even getting along. You know what I'm saying? Like, you stay over there. I stay where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. No, I ain't that thirsty to have people in my chat or have people watch my shit to be kissing the ass to races. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't finna look past bigotry, none of that shit, for a like or a view. I'm not. And she know that she, she don't want that video out because, you know, people go watch that original video and hear her say, hear her admit, to not being black in that video. Why people, like people coming out trying to fend her, ah, she's black, I think she's black. She's not, she's not, she's not, she's not. Cause we can say all we wanna say about you no know saying but on Red Bull, right? Red Bull doing videos and she even showed herself. Ain't no question what she is. She showed herself and she knew in the game and she showed herself. That person ain't even showing it. So, like, I, I ain't finna keep getting these people that hiding behind emojis and avatars, this type of fucking attention, man. These people is out here just thinking that they could be a black screen and say all this other type of stuff to you Why they just showing this type of stuff. Ooh, hiding, being a coward, not even willing to show their face. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like, share. Subscribe if you didn't already. You know, be seeing you again real soon. Thank you.